Ten seconds. Mr. Helton, get ready. Brace yourself. I am. I always do. Yep. <laughs> All set, Ken? Yeah. All right. With that, I will call the June ZBA meeting to order. Will the clerk please call the roll? Matt Kaiser. Here. Keith Perkins. Here. Richard Brooks. Here. Ken Hilton. Here. Anthony Jones. Here. Okay, so the first order of business, uh, I'll appoint Mr. Uh, Hilton as a full voting member of the board. And Jones, please. Excuse me, what? Uh, Mr. Jones as well, please. Don't oh. forget about me. Oh, I'm sorry. I was thinking you were, sorry, and Mr. Jones. <laughs> My apologies, not intentional. I was, I was thinking you were a full member already. If I, if I move over, well, <laughs> I pretty much am with you. No, then you're the wrong neighbor. All right, first order of business, approval of minutes of the April 25th, 2024 and May 1st, 2024 minutes. Any discussion or rev revisions to the, the minutes? Mr. Brooks. I'll make a motion to accept them as presented. We have a motion. We have a second by Mr. Perkins. All those in favor of approving the minutes, raise your right hand. 5-0. It's approved. Number two, old business. Any old business that come for the board? Ms. Crosley. No old business. Any old business from board members? Seeing none, we'll move on to new business. Item three, alpha, is a motion for rehearing. John J. Flatley is seeking a rehearing of the application denied on April 25th, 2024 for an appeal for an administrative decision of the code compliance officer dated January 31st, 2024 to remove the off-premise sign from the intersection of Tri-City Road and High Street associated with the property located at 1 TAC 9 Tri-City Road in the Business District, Assessor's Map 39, Lot 02, ZBA Case 0, 2024. There is no public hearing. It is open for board discussion. Mr. Brooks. So obviously, as this is just a motion for rehearing, we don't rehash this out. We just have to decide whether we might have aired or if there's new information that would grant a reason to have a rehearing for this. Um, Wait a second. Let's make sure, Ms. Ms. Crosby, do you have anything to add? <laughs> um, <laughs> Mr. Brooks kind of summed that up, right? Um, we're not looking to reestablish on anything regarding the case so you're not um no additional reasons why you made the decision you made looking at the information the applicant has submitted whether or not you feel that a second chance at this application is warranted whether you feel you made an error or there was new information provided by the applicant that warrants a rehearing of this application if the board grants one then we would schedule that abutters would be notified and the process would happen again for the hearing the applicant would present to you again okay all set yes any questions for ms crosley while we're you may continue mr brooks so um based on that i i don't feel that they've supplied any new information here um looking at the reasons they do talk about their sign content which i don't believe is why we had a decision on this it was more in my mind the fact that the sign had changed several times more times than they had a sign permit for essentially a new sign without the grandfathering without the sign permit approval and so on so yeah i don't see where we've made a mistake in that in my opinion of this and um, i i guess i would just not be in favor of granting a rehearing based on that info okay Mr. Jones? Yeah, pretty much the same. The letter kind of rehashes their entire argument from the get-go. Um, they again allege that it's on the same portion of the premises, which the building inspector kind of provided a lot of pictures and imagery, which disputed. Um, they do at the end tack on. Um, they want time to do a survey to to pro possibly, you know, come up with that new location that we're trying to figure out whether or not it's on the right away or the original premises or a new premises, the accountant building. But um, I don't think they would. I don't know. I don't know how we would give them a rehearing just on merits of looking for a survey alone. Okay. One thing I did note, and looking at, the, I mean, we have, for the we have the condition it was in 1989 on on a survey a surveyor's map, though it doesn't have any dimensions to show exactly where it's located. Yeah. 
the previous um, survey shows that it was in the right of way, mm -hmm. which in my knowledge, that would make it an illegal sign because you're not allowed to have a sign the right of way. So if we did have additional survey, it would either prove it's still in the right of way and, and it's an illegal sign or that it's been moved into the property. So it doesn't provide grounds for it to, for the sign to stay or not to grandfather. Right. Yeah, it doesn't necessarily provide a decisive ruling for the applicant. Further comments, discussion? Okay. I mean, my, my review, I would agree um, that we had that what the decision the board made um, on April 25th is correct. I found no new evidence here that would change the fact or would call into question that the, uh, the board erred on its decision that the sign was not grandfathered. Um, and there's no real new, there is no, there, there is no new information, as you said, it was just, it's just basically a reiteration of the, the previous information. All right. What new information? Excuse me. Right, Mr. Hill. What new information or were they saying that they were bringing forward to, I mean, I, I didn't, they, to me they it didn't, didn't seem like there was They had new information. Um, that's just, that's a, that's a requirement for what, why to grant a rehearing. They didn't specifically state they had new information they, uh, in their letter. Correct. I, I didn't see anything that they specifically stated they had new information. They did indicate that the motion for rehearing would provide them time for a survey, but as you said, a survey doesn't necessarily help their case. Yeah, and, and with that thought, too, I, I think that just looking at the maps that we had, it was pretty clear it has moved probably to another property. Obviously, we can't be 100% sure, but it's a pretty safe assumption. So it really doesn't change the facts, having a survey just to verify that it did in fact move to another property because we seem to be pretty confident it has. Okay. With that, I'll, I'll make a motion. We'll let Mr. Hilton make sure he's all set. He's, he's reviewing some information. I just want to make sure he's all set. You all set, Mr. Hilton? I just want to make sure you're all set, you know, I'll give you a chance to, just, while you're thinking through the process, because it's, it's, you're put on the spot. We're all put on the spot here to make the decision. So, yeah, I, I don't see anything that makes, you know, that um, brings to light anything new. Okay, very well, Mr. Brooks, go right ahead. All right. <clears throat> So after review of the request and all the information presented to the board, I feel that the board did not err in the decision-making process and new, no new substantial evidence was provided. And I move that the request of John J. Flatley for a, this is worded slightly wrong here. Regarding, get rid for, of the and say, at, re, regarding the appeal. Of regarding the a appeal for administrative decision ZBA 01-2024 be denied. We have a motion. We have a second by Mr. Perkins. The motion is to deny the mo to deny a rehearing for the, the discussion on the motion. Okay. All those in favor of the motion, raise your right hand. The motion passes 5-0. Second order of business is election of officers. Uh, we need to elect a chairperson and a vice chairperson tonight. Uh, what's the wish of the board? Mr. Brooks. I'll nominate Mr. Kaiser for a chair. Okay. Mr. Per Mr. Perkins. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Any discussion? Any other nominations? Okay. All those in favor of the nomination, raise your right hand. Okay. So be it. Need a motion for a vice chair. Mr. Hilton. I would nominate Mr. Brooks. Nomination. You have an first uh, vice chair. For vice chair. You want to second that? I'll second that. Any other nominations? Any other, uh, not, no other nominations. All those in favor of Mr. Brooks as the vice chair, raise your right hand. Five zero. Begrudgingly. Uh, next order of business item to Charlie. Any new business? Any new business come before the board? Ms. Crosley. No new business. Um, a reminder, our July meeting is on a 
Thursday. I was supposed to write this down. 7-11? Uh, on the 11th. Thursday, July 11th. We will obviously um, send out some reminders, but just some reminder for your calendars. We did not. We moved it from the 3rd, and we will have an application, I believe. Um, I think we got something today. So we will have a meeting in July, and it will be on Thursday the 11th at 7. All right. Any... Any questions for Ms. Gwazley? Any other new business that the board has? With that, the chair will entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Mr. Brooks has a motion to adjourn. Mr. Per Mr. Hilton seconds it. All those in favor of adjourning, raise your right hand. Be heard by adjourn.